and a project to record the stories of World War II veterans and Korean War vets before they're gone. The history and the stories of the greatest generation are being lost at the rate of hundreds a day. Roughly 500 World War II veterans pass away daily. Preserving their experiences and those of Korean War vets is the goal of a project by the Red Cross. Nine News reporter Maya Rodriguez shows us. One day they said, gather your gear, your ship and out. It's been nearly 70 years since Dr. Paul Arthur heard those words. And seven days later we landed in Scotland. The story of his experiences during World War II is just one of thousands the Red Cross is capturing as part of their Veterans History Project. They spent the day at the Holly Creek Retirement Community in Centennial interviewing veterans who live there. We are running out of time. We're all living longer, healthier, but these folks are well into their 90s and we need to capture those stories while they're still here to share with us. World War II veterans are passing away at a rate of 550 a day and coming up right behind them. The Army made a man of me. Are veterans of the Korean War, the so-called Forgotten War. Veterans like Charles Riccio. Well, frankly, I didn't know why anybody would be interested in hearing about my uh, military experience. Riccio was in the Army in the Korean War. And that's me with one of my sergeants. Don't I look like a small John Wayne? He later became a lawyer and then served in the Air Force in Vietnam as a judge advocate general. It's important to have their stories told while they can talk about those experiences personally themselves. A way to have their voices heard well beyond all of our lifetimes. Maya Rodriguez, Nine News. Their stories will end up at the Library of Congress, available to students, researchers, historians, and anyone else who wants to hear them. American heroes, all okay. those guys love those stories. Yeah. The storm